Welcome to Gentle Yoga with Leo Bray on behalf of Kristen Olson's Urban Yoga Center in Palm Springs. Visit us on the web at urbanyoga.org or on Facebook at Kristen Olson's Urban Yoga Center to check out the schedule and stop by the tip jar to make donations to support our online offerings. We're going to start today in child's pose. I won't go there yet because once I'm in child's pose, it's harder to hear me with my face pointed at the floor. If you're not familiar with child's pose, you come onto your hands and knees. Bring your big toes together. If you like, you can open your knees wider, maybe even as far as the edges of your mat. If you have trouble with your knees, it might feel better to keep them in closer. Then you sit back towards your heels, reach your arms forward. If this doesn't feel good in your shoulders or something, you can reach your hands back by your feet instead. And you want to let your head rest on the floor or on something so that your neck is long and relaxed. So if your head doesn't want to come down to the floor, don't try to push your head to the floor. You can put something under your head like a yoga block or just your hands, stack your hands, palms down and rest your forehead on the back of your hand. And just observe your breath. Maybe close your eyes, might as well. Just looking at the floor. Notice how your breath feels in this position. Make any adjustments you need to to be comfortable. Scan your body, taking in your contact with the floor, every place that's touching the floor. Taking in whatever other sensations you notice in your body. Taking particular note of any trouble spots that you detect as you listen into your body. Remember that you can skip or modify any part of practice. Child's pose is a great position for focusing inward. The shape just lends itself to that kind of energy. Thinking of <clears throat> a child, thinking of the child you once were, who had so much to learn, who took such joy in learning and discovery. Tuning into what in yoga is referred to as beginner's mind. Each day is a new adventure, each practice is a new experience. Even if we've done a posture, a sequence, a practice, many times over. Coming at it each time as if it were new. Let's take three deep cleansing breaths. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth with a sighing sound.
Take your time to come forward and up to table, coming up on your hands and knees with things squared off, hips above the knees and shoulders above the wrists. Inhale. Exhale, look to your left, look for your left heel. It's okay if you can't see your heel, but try to see it. Inhale through center. And as you exhale, look to the right, look towards your right heel. And continue a couple more times on each side. Doesn't matter how far you turn, just the direction. It's okay if you can see your heel on one side and not on the other. I'm not seeing my left heel today, but I'm seeing my right. That's just how it is today. And meeting back at center. Inhale to draw your heart forward. Let your head and tailbone go up. Exhale to draw your heart up. Let your head and tailbone come down. Take a few more breaths with cow pose and cat pose. After your next exhale, come back to the table with your spine neutral, sort of parallel to the floor. Reach back and press into the ball of your right foot. Relax the pressure on your foot and slowly swing it out to the side. Maybe bring it in line with your hip. It's okay if it doesn't go that far. And just let your foot come to rest in a comfortable position. It might be resting on the inner edge of your foot or your foot might flatten to the floor. It doesn't matter. Exhale, sit back a little towards your left heel. Inhale, glide forward. Keep going, stay mindful, particularly of the sensation on your inner right thigh, so you don't overdo it. Maybe the movements remain pretty small or maybe they grow bigger, whatever your body needs. Next time you rock forward, pause with shoulders above wrists. Walk your hands forward, let your head come down between your arms. Walk your hands over to the left, maybe about a foot, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. Nobody's gonna stop and measure where we go. Pressing against the floor with your hands, send that left hip towards the left heel. Just a couple of inches, maybe. Maybe not even that far. Slowly walk your hands back to center line. And then back in under your shoulders. Swing your leg back to center line. Bring your knee down. 
reach back and press into the ball of your left foot. Knees off, bring your foot out to the side and start exploring that rocking. Exhale, sit back a bit and inhale, come forward. Next time your shoulders are above your wrists, stop there. Walk your hands forward. Let your head release down to hang between your arms. Scoot your hands over to the right. And press away from the floor. Send your right hip back a little bit. Slowly walk your hands back to center and then back in below your shoulders. Swing your leg back to center line and let your knee down. Curl your toes under, walk your hands in towards your knees. So you come up standing on your knees. We're gonna stretch our feet and our hands. So first to go to the foot stretch, sit back towards your heels. Now this can create a lot of sensation in your feet. You decide how much of that you want. So you can always put something between your heels and your butt, like a yoga block or a bolster or a rolled up mat if you have more than one mat. Towel, blanket, pillow. If it doesn't feel good to just hang out the way I'm doing, you can have something here. You could also just put a block like between your ankles, like between your butt and the floor, sit up even higher. Raise your right arm in front of you with your palm facing up. Take hold of your pinky with your left hand. Inhale, gently draw your pinky out. And exhale, gently draw it down, opening your palm and your wrist and your forearm. One breath per finger, ring finger. Inhale and exhale. Middle. Index. And the thumb. Switch hands, left palm up in front. Take hold of your pinky, inhale, and exhale. If you finish before I do, because my breaths are kind of long, make your way back to the table, tipping forward onto your hands and untucking your toes. And then the best part is this counter pose. You tap the tops of your feet on the floor or bang them. I like to use a lot of force, but whatever amount of force feels good for you.
And from table here, let's explore some twisting. I'm gonna go to the right. The twist begins at the waist, goes up the torso and becomes an arm extension. So inhaling, twist through your lower spine, middle spine, upper spine, reach your right arm out and up and look up towards your hand. Exhale, bring your arm down, reach it across under your body, behind the other arm. Two more times, inhale, open up and reach up and look up. Exhale, come down, thread the needle. One more. And nice and gently let your right shoulder down to the floor. Let the right side of your head down to the floor. If your head doesn't seem to want to make it to the floor, shift your hips forward to help your head make its way down. Now that twist might feel like a lot. You can just stay right there. Or if you want, you can explore some extensions with the left arm and leg. You might reach back, press into the ball of your left foot, or pick it up and reach back in the air. This can make you feel kind of tippy. You might tip to the right and roll onto your back by accident. Kind of a gentle tumble. Or you can bring this left foot over towards your right hand. Or you can just keep that knee on the floor. You can keep the left hand here, stabilizing, pressing into it, or you can reach your arm up and explore rotating your arm back and forth like an owl turning its head. You might also bend your arm and bring the back of your hand to your back. Now let's rewind everything nice and slowly. If you moved your left arm, plant that left hand near your face, press into it to stabilize. If you moved your left leg, bring it back to the center line and bring your knee back down. Really press into the left hand, big inhale, open up and reach up and look up. Exhale, bring that right hand down. Take a few breaths with towel and cat. After your next exhale, come back to the table. Going to the left now, remember the twist starts at the waist, works up the torso and into the arm extension. Inhale, twist through lower back, middle back, upper back, reach the left arm out and up, looking up towards your hand. Exhale, come down, reach across. Two more, just like that, inhale. And exhale. Very gently let the left shoulder down, let the left side of your head down. Stay just like that if you want, or explore. Reaching back with your right foot to press against the floor, or reach back in the air. I'll bring the right foot towards the left hand. You can keep your right hand grounded or explore extending up and rotating or taking a half bind with your hand on your back.
And again, let's take our time to rewind everything. If you moved your right hand, bring it back, plant it by your face. If you moved your right foot, bring it back over to the mat and bring your knee down. Big inhale, open up, reach up, look up. Exhale, let your hand down and take those breaths with cow pose and cat pose. And sit back, make your way to child's pose. Back where we started for a few breaths. Notice whatever differences you can in the way this child pose feels compared to the first one earlier. Inhale, come forward and up to table. Step your left foot up with your hands and then your right foot to come to forward fold. Explore swaying back and forth. Bending and lengthening your legs, letting your arms and your head hang and be heavy. Slowly nod your head yes. And shake your head no. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Put your hands down by your sides. Lift your left shoulder towards your ear. Slide it back and let it down. And your right shoulder up, back, down. Inhale, reach out to the sides. Exhale and reach for your shoulder blades. Hug yourself, bring your chin towards your shoulder. I'd like your chin droop down towards your sternum like you're drawing a half circle up to the other shoulder and nice and slowly back again, down through center and up to where you started. Face forward again. On an inhale, open your arms. On the exhale, cross the opposite way. Bring your chin over to your shoulder. And again, down through center, up to the other shoulder, down through center, back up again. Face forward, inhaling, open up. Exhaling, arms down. Inhale, out and up. 
Interlace your fingers, turn your palms up, reach your palms up, look up towards your hands, lift up your heart. Inhale to come upright. Exhale to bend to the left, feel the length of both arms. Inhale to come up. Exhale to bend to the right. Inhale to come up. Exhale, let your arms down. Inhale, reach out and up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Light your hands and step back to plank. If you prefer a shorter plank, go ahead and let your knees gently down. Allow your hips to come down in line with your shoulders and your knees. And you might think about shoulders and heels if your knees are up. On an exhale, slowly lower down all the way. Keep your elbows in towards your torso. And tucking your toes. Press into your hands. Inhale, lift your head and chest just as high as you like. Listen to your lower back. What feels like enough? Exhale, rock slowly back and up to downward facing dog. And pedal your feet up and down. Explore any other movements you like. To find sensation of lengthening and your back lengthening through any tight spots that are speaking up as you listen in. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, lift that way. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift that way. Exhale, down. Step back to plank. This time as you exhale, you could lower halfway down or all the way down again. And inhale to bring your heart forward. Exhale, rock back and up. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. One more. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, down. Step back to plank. When you're ready, on an exhale, lower. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, back and up. Take three cleansing breaths and return to child's pose.
Turn inward, listen to your body. What feels different this time? Inhale, come forward and up to the table and take your time to make your way to a seat, however you want to get there. Extend your legs out in front of you. Use your arms to nudge your legs apart. Just as far as you want. Don't strain yourself. Keep letting your arms up your legs. Bend the left leg and bring the left foot to the right leg. Pivot your torso, aim your sternum at your right foot and flex your right foot back towards you. Inhale, reach up overhead. Exhale, fold down over your leg. Take a couple breaths. Slowly open your left arm way out to the left and then reach it up alongside your ear. So your left hand is coming overhead towards your right hand. Let your head be wherever your neck feels okay. Slowly reach up and out to the left. And then take your time, bring your left hand back to your right hand. Inhaling, walk your hands up the front of your leg. Sit yourself up. Switch your legs the opposite way. Pivot your torso to the left. Flex your left foot. Inhale, reach up, and exhale, fold down. Bring your right arm out to the right, and then slowly up alongside your ear, arching overhead. Reach slowly up, back out to the right, and sweep your arm across. Right hand, thumb to the left hand, walk your hands up your leg. Extend the right leg, nudge the legs towards each other, flex your feet back, 
Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Let your knees bend as much as they want to if they want to. Inhale, slowly walk your hands up your legs and sit up. Bring your hands to the floor behind you, draw your knees up, plant your feet. Make your way gently down onto your back. Draw your heels in close to your butt. If you want, you can place a block between your knees for bridge pose. In the middle position, press into your feet. Inhale to lift your hips up. For a deeper heart opener, if you want, you can clasp your hands under you, extend your knuckles towards your heels, and wiggle your shoulder blades towards each other. Keep breathing, whether you're doing that bind or not. Release the bind if you're doing it. Exhale, slowly lower down. Explore floating up and down a few times at your own pace. Next time you lower down, let that be the last one. If you were using a block, move it out of the way. Draw your knees towards your chest, hug your knees. Explore rocking and rolling movements. You can massage your back against the ground. Grab your strap, run it under your feet, holding one end in each hand. And reach your hands and feet up. Point your toes at the ceiling. Point your toes down towards your face. 
Let your feet relax. Slide them apart. Slide them back together. Take your right foot out of the strap. Press your right calf and right heel to the floor. Flex your right foot back. Reach your left arm to the side, palm up. Keeping your shoulders grounded, draw your leg to the right and turn your head to the left. Bring everything back up through center. Take the strap in your other hand. Press your right hand down on the front of your hip. Let your limbs fall open to the left. Keeping your pelvis level with the floor, keeping that right hip down as your left hip opens. Nice and easy, come back to center. Raise your right leg, step into the strap. Take your left foot out, 
Press that leg down, flex that foot back. Reach your right arm out to the side. Draw your leg to the left and turn your head to the right. Come back up to center. Take the strap in your right hand, press down on your left hip, let your arm and your leg come over to the right. Very gently come back to center. Lift your left leg, draw your knees in, set the strap aside. Reach your feet up, reach your hands up, take hold of your legs or your feet. Play with bending and straightening your limbs.
Whenever you feel complete, make your way to the final resting pose. Get comfortable. If you like, close your eyes. Notice your breath. Coming back to where we began our practice. If you like, scan your body again. If you detect any remaining excess tension, imagine when you exhale, a little bit of it melting away into the ground. Give yourself some deeper breaths. Invite movement back to your body bit by bit. Take your time to let your movements grow bigger. When you're ready, gently sit up. Bring your hands to your heart. Thank you for sharing practice today. The light within me sees and honors that same light within you. 
Namaste.